Hello. Okay. So today I have been taking lots of video, but uh, I have to um, uh, do that because of my reading and the books I read. Uh, uh, it's kind of a the late, my late passion. I think uh, I started to read books when I was like a oh, you know, long long after 60 years old. <laughs> Before then, I, I, I was so busy doing <laughs> things and uh, I never thought that I could be reading like a fiction, for example. Uh, but, um, so about, uh, you know, about that time, 65-ish, 60-ish, I started to read and now I'm 72. So, uh, I continuously enjoy reading books, uh, but it's getting more and more difficult to read the small prints and, uh, and so forth. And I have to wear the glasses, and uh, you know, but then it's still busy. <laughs> so um, you know, that's that's probably a continuous struggle to keep up uh, reading. But anyway, so one of the book I really, really thought. I have to tell you because uh, um, it was a very enjoyable book and uh, you know it was a bestseller uh, some time ago and uh, uh, made a movie and so forth but I never I didn't know anything about that particular story it turns out this book by John Barron Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. This book is so funny, so enjoyable, so delightful. And uh, I kind of, uh, from the beginning to the end, you know, like uh, smiling and uh, laughing, you know, you know loud. <laughs> very, very good book. So definitely, I keep this uh, with me for, you know, until until I die, I probably come back to it and read sometime I, if I have a, you know, nothing to do and uh, again. Uh, but anyway, so this writer, John Brandt, is uh, I think a New York, New Yorker or New York Times, uh, like a journalist. He uh, went to Savannah, Georgia to do uh, some story about something there. And I think it's a true story because uh, uh, after reading this, uh, I, uh, I visited, I think, uh, visited, no, not visited, I, uh, I uh, researched and uh, yeah, the, some of the characters in here is um, real and there's uh, some, um, uh, some interviews and so forth to that particular character and also the when it became a movie uh, this one of the character is in the movie that's amazing right it's amazing but anyway so this is uh, you know this guy uh, this author uh, visit there and uh, find uh, lots of quirky characters in Savannah Georgia and uh, interact with them and um, you know describe them and so forth and uh, uh, I think the, the one of the thing is that uh, uh, he visit is the uh, Johnny Mathers. Johnny Mather is the as you know he's um, you know lyricist and uh, uh, sometimes composer I think but mainly lyricist he, uh, he did, uh, um, as far as the lyrics concerned, he did the um, uh, Henry Mancini's collaboration, uh, Moon River, right? Moon River, wider than a while, crossing in your style someday. Oh, dream maker, you're heartbreaker, wherever you're going, I'm going your way, oh. To drifters of the sea's world, such a pretty world to see. 
that's that's his lyrics. It's beautiful lyrics, and uh, when we were playing charade, charade uh, we were like children posing. Charade is also Henry Mancini and Johnny Mercer's, and Johnny Mercer's has a lot of other songs that he he created, you know. And it's uh, I have a couple of CDs. Uh, some of the, uh, he was I think a singer. He he sings very well uh, when he was young, of course. And uh, so I I love him. I love his work. And uh, he was born in this particular house. He was uh, like a rich uh, people's kid, and he was in a big house of this Johnny Mercer mansion. Uh, he I was born there and I lived there. Oh, I think, yeah, I think that's what happened. Or oh, he bought the house. Oh, no, that particular memory is gone. And so anyway, so something, some incidents happened there. And uh, so he, this author, goes there to investigate or to take uh, some story out of it. And that's what it is, this book. And uh, if you don't have absolutely uh, nothing to do. This book is very delightful and if you are kind of a down and out or, or something like a, you know you are depressed or something, this book cheer you up definitely and uh, it is uh, very well written and uh, that's why I admire uh, this writer uh, the capability of doing this. Wow, you know he can make a, a book out of this particular trip and uh, it's a travelogue, right? And uh, it's fantastic. And so I strongly recommend Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Okay?